All right, I'm Jubilee. I need way more context than I can ever give in the beginning part of this, but long long story short, I'm weird. I take context. Autism cards are a bad idea because we are part of a larger community. And the card is always going to be for the next person and not for you. And we're going to explore Ali Priestley's video that she put up and went viral because she's really good at making things go viral. Somebody in my mind, more brilliant, who has a better perspective on both autism, the autistic community, and the card in general. And says it in a much better way than my bitchy tone is going to say it, right? Uh, so uh, without too much further ado, ado, is that the right word? Anyway, here is the video from Datura. And today happens to be her birthday. So happy birthday. We found you yesterday, but uh, you seem brilliant. Glad to be following you. This is something that I still struggle with, if I'm being honest. And the short answer is to remember, if you are experiencing something across decades in multiple different environments with multiple different types of people, basically each scenario has been different and the same exact things are happening and you are honestly trying. I know that word is hard for us because we tend to gaslight ourselves, but we know when we're trying and when we're not. If you're doing all those things, it's not a personal failing. I kept thinking that if I just pushed myself more and more and more, if I completely changed my identity, if I just moved here or got this job or switched uh, this major, that I could fix everything. And because I never had a proper diagnosis, I definitely thought it was a personal failing. I was thinking about this yesterday, about how I've been telling myself since like seventh grade, I could get back to the organized version of myself, the smart version of myself. But in reality, that was never there. I'm not calling myself dumb. There is this thing that happens with autistic where when we're younger, we're able to, you know, process things a bit faster and basically like get ahead of our classmates. I don't know what it's called. Somebody in the comments probably does. I would always compare myself to that, especially in school. And people around me like didn't know where to like place me really. I was always like very quiet, at least like during class. So I just got lumped in with the smart kids. But I wasn't in the gifted program because I would miss the math section by like a couple points every single year. I can't do math for shit. So I just kept telling myself, you know, push yourself hard to become more disciplined. And the same shit just kept happening over and over and over again. I would get to a certain level of success and then everything would just fall all over the place. Like a lot of autistics say with jobs, we interview really well. I had this long ass document in college where I would just like collect possible interview questions and script answers to them and I would memorize it. And people would be like, oh my gosh, like you're the best person like I've interviewed. But then when we get into the job, it becomes fucking chaotic because neurotypicals don't know how to translate for autistics. Also, we're not good at the social game. We get burnt out easily. We need more break. We have a hard time focusing or we're too focused. We can have meltdowns. It's just like this whole damn thing. Or, you know, aside from career, like whenever I would like try to make friends or like fit in in social settings, it's like the same pattern over and over and over again. And if what you're doing happens in private, it's not for attention, okay? Who, who the fuck is my audience when I'm in here having a damn meltdown? Who am I trying to manipulate then? But yeah, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. It's so easy to think that it's an us problem and not the fact that this world is very ableist. We are so far behind when it comes to changing that. All right, so um, let's pause. I think she deals with that um, feeling of self-failure, right? Is it internal or is it external? Are you trying to say this card lets me get away with everything? Or are you actually trying? Are you actually, is, is it consistent over decades? And are you trying, right? Now, from what I know, Detour doesn't know Ali, right? Doesn't know anything about Ali in the 2023 drama. As far as, as, as she knows, she's stitching a fellow autistic who, and, and offering her perspective, right? On why these autism cards are maybe, maybe not the best idea for everybody, right? Let's let's listen to her again. I'll just word salad for a while. Single person needs to carry a card like this in their wallet if they're neurodivergent or autistic. It's not gonna work for no black person. Listen, if a black autistic person is in a situation that involves the police and it's one of those put your hands up situations and you try to reach for something, it's not gonna work out. 
and imagine black autistic people who are nonverbal. We know how many black people have gone undiagnosed. Most of us. And I know there is a decent portion of black people who have been gunned down by the police and who are also autistic. It's just terrifying, honestly. I don't have a solution. Like we're still on, should I even say level one? We are very, very far behind when it comes to the unregulated power of a cop and their torture towards black bodies. I'm anxious every time I leave the fucking house. I'm a terrible driver and a lot of autistics struggle with driving. So on top of just being pulled over because I'm black, now I have to worry about being pulled over because I'm black and can't drive and I'm autistic. Also, when I get overstimulated, I get rageful. This has just been a lifelong fucking problem. Whenever I get overstimulated or I feel misunderstood, it's like an explosion. And you know what my parents did just going off of their generational trauma and epigenetic instincts from slavery. Anytime I would have those rageful outbreaks, my parents would say things like, you're going to go to jail one day or we'll call the cops on you because that's going to solve everything. Okay. I was lucky. Like when I had my 5150 call, you know, all cops are bastards, but it was the social worker who was the CUNT. That bitch was egging me on because she thought I was intentionally having an attitude and not that I was in a fucking crisis and that I'm autistic. I was shook when the cops were telling her to calm her attitude because before her little nasty behind came through the door, I was calm. Did she come in interrogating me? That's not the point. But anyway, this is not going to work for black people. And I'd love if anyone knows about how black people can protect themselves in situations like this, if there is a way. And I just don't know. So, yes. My mind, we get rid of cops, right? Cops, cops are, are, are a problem for autistic people. Um, just going to pause to get there. Next up, we are going to watch Allie herself use the card while lying about us. I'm one of those people online, right? That's been attacking this, this, this poor autistic woman. Attacking being, stop hurting autistic people, Allie Priestley. This card is a great example because we're also going to watch her live where she plans on making her own and making work life way worse for people who are actually autistic, especially people who aren't white like us. You, Someone pointed out that Ali's pretending to be scared of the cops, right? Well, she still counts on them. Every, she constantly is threatening them. And yet she says she's scared of them. If you were scared of them, being actually physically hurt by them, you don't want this much interaction with them. She wants a get out of being a bitch card, which is going to make it nearly impossible for everyone who's actually rageful and can't handle it. Watch how she's manipulating the police in this one. As soon as, right? You don't care about autism, all the tears start flowing, right? Can you not see what I see in this interaction? Allie is fundamentally misunderstanding jurisdiction, right? Uh, clearly, Colorado doesn't have cybercrime laws, or J Allie Priestley here would be in jail because she is the one hurting people online repeatedly, daily on video for the whole world to see. So um, that she's like, you're lying because she misunderstood the cop. Where's the law? What's the law? How are they going to? charge someone who did nothing in a different state when we can't get them to charge you, right? When you do clear crimes, it's just hard because of jurisdiction, right? You're committing the crime in a different country, in a different state. And so it might not even be a crime in a state. Which state is it a crime in? Which state isn't it a crime in, right? These are all new places, but Ali Priestley literally wants the crime, the cyber crimes to be, don't hurt Ali Priestley's feelings. And Ali Priestley gets to hurt everybody else's feelings. That's not what you're going to hear her say. Right? She's like, but these people, this has been so hard and you're hurting me. She's come in to talk about us, right? After multiple people have called and the police have asked her to stop texting people and harming and harassing them and stop all of this behavior. And she continually does it, right? Here's Ali's interaction with the cop. She took this video down. We're going to watch the whole video. See, can you imagine how, much, how bad this makes the next interaction with a white woman, an actually autistic white woman for the cops? exponentially worse for black women exponentially worse for anyone the cops aren't going to have an affinity for not going to remind them of their niece right they can just oh you're autistic our lives work differently and yet we're in community together and i meant to put, put that the other way so uh anyway let's just let's just play it 
So you're saying, I want this on film, that cyber crimes do not exist in Colorado? Here's the thing, Alison, you and I will talk. Right. No, I want, I want that. Right. You just said that they don't. All right. You, you and I will talk. Here's, here's the thing. The one that you want to report, I cannot help you with. Here in Colorado, okay? I am trying to help you with the fit here through Michigan. Can you tell me what you said just a minute ago? You yeah, said that cyber yeah. not crime d- just doesn't yeah. exist in Colorado. It, it does exist in Colorado. Then why did you, why are you I taking what you just said? I cannot charge these people for this crime. I said what crime counts as cyber harassment, okay. cyber laws, and you said I'll, there I'll, isn't one in Colorado. I'll go pull them all See, this is you. why I'm frustrated. It's because you guys keep changing what you're I'm saying. Not, Allison, here's the Cyber thing. laws don't exist here. You said that. Not the ones that you want to report. I can't help you with this, okay? I would love to help you with this. If I could you're charge not. these people for, for this, I would charge them. So I, 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 because I you're in Colorado, you can't do anything, even though I live so then yes. does. Well, I'm starting with Michigan to see if they okay. Will, okay? And then what about Montreal? Because yes. these people well, are actually not. dangerous. Talk to me, are we? You didn't read this or take it or anything. Do you yes. care about can autism? Can I keep it? Yes, and I would appreciate if you actually read it. Like, that's notice right do you even care about autism you're not caring about me in this moment therefore you must not care about autism that is a narcissistic trait right she's able to interact with the cop there she's not in meltdown but she's about to get in meltdown with the with the card right she's it's like putting it on just like she puts her mental health crisis on us she's putting it in on the cop right it's the cop's fault that they, she lied to her no she didn't that wasn't a lie. It's jurisdiction. You just don't understand it. Allison Priestley's misunderstandings are constantly everybody else's lies. The whole point, and this is so scary for me to get so scared because I'm going through something real, and you're just telling me after I've been pushed around that cyber crimes don't exist in Colorado. That doesn't make sense. Okay. <laughs> I'm putting your emergency contact on the phone. Do not let the police lie to you and take out your camera and start filming, especially if they're lying straight to your face. It's so unreal, but the card. And again, the privilege, right? Take out a card. Stop. Hand them the card. Stop. Start recording. Our lives work differently to Black women's Allie Priestley. All right. I'm just going to pause here for a moment. Right, we are going to watch the clips from her lives from yesterday, September 14th, where, uh, again, she berated Jane for having put out content on Unaliving during Unaliving Week, berate, like, then talked about death for an hour, you talked about just all the things, all the things Ellie Priestley does, right? But amongst that was her business plans to make these cards, to sell them, but not the ones that already exist, which are generic. Which again, these cards are for the next person. So you can't do it for Ali Priestley's autism because they're not going to read it in a crisis. If you're having a heart attack, they don't have time, right? If it's an EMT, they don't have the time. It's for the next person. And she just wants to make money. I think I'm going to make some of those autism cards for adults because I that lady like works with I think she made them for all ages, but I'm going to make some for like women and adults. So I'll let you guys, when I get back, that's what I'm going to do. Oh my God. Okay. Make some different ones. I'm going to talk to her and see if she sells them and I will totally plug her website, but I'm going to make some too. Like, I think that would be good. Okay, um, and I'll make them as cheap as possible, obviously. But I want ones, like, the eye contact one doesn't, like, apply to me at all. Like, I make too much eye contact, if anything. Like, mine's more like, if I start to rage in your office, please don't arrest me. (laughs) If I unexpectedly combust spontaneously in your office please yes yes no i'm gonna make one like personally that actually like has what i struggle with what is going on with my spotify why is it being so weird so the end of this video is specifically for ali Priestley herself could you please treat the rest of the people who claim autism like your card asks for you to be treated do not assume autistic traits 
equal suspicious behavior. Speak to me and my friends, please, in a normal, calm, non-confrontational tone. And tell us, right, but don't tell us what to do. But when you want us to do something, tell us exactly what to do politely, literally, and step by step. And realize, right, you're not actually owed our doing it. All right. See you next time.